Hey guys, it's Joanna here. Thank you for coming and watching my channel. If you are returning, I wanna thank you so much and I wanna encourage you to like and share this video. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified when I post new content. So someone today asked me what my three makeup must-haves are. And the first thing I thought was, oh my God, how am I gonna pick three? Because there are so many must-haves on my list. But I tried my best to narrow it down to three must-haves. So I'm gonna give you the list and then I'm gonna to explain to you why I picked those three items. So my first makeup must have is a primer. Now, for many, many years, I had no idea the importance of primer. I didn't even know what it did. Um, I'm not a painter, so I don't even know to use primer. Actually, once I painted and I didn't use primer, um, it really wasn't in my thought process to use a primer. Um, but in the recent years, I have started to use primer and saw what the difference was and what really it was all about. So the reason why I picked primer is because primer is everything that sets your face up for everything you're going to be putting on it. Um, that is super important. You want your makeup to stay on you no matter what it is that you're using. Now, the type of primer that I absolutely love best is our VFX Pro Primer. It is camera ready and we have two different primers. We have one that's called strobe and then we have the camera ready. This one is my favorite because it is a silicone base. And basically what that means is it creates a barrier between your skin and your makeup. For people who have the skin type that is really kind of more sensitive or they want a light feel on their face, I feel that the silicone base is a really the better option. Now, if you're looking for a primer that has moisturizer, we do have that as well. Um, I've tried it and it's, it's, not, it's not for me. Um, I do not use moisturizer before I put on my makeup. I do all my moisturizing overnight to um, when my, my skin is really trying to repair itself. Um, so really during the day, I do not want heaviness on my face. I want a very light feeling and um, I can't say enough about the silicone primer. It just creates a barrier between you and your skin. It does. It feels very silky thin. It doesn't leave a pastiness to your face. Um, it is just really one of my favorite products and it is the base to every single look that I do. I use it every single day. So if I had to pick a must have, this primer is absolutely must have. Number two, my second must have cosmetic product is mascara. Even if I don't do my eyeshadow for the day, I will certainly want to bring a little life to my eyes. And there is just something about the difference of having no mascara to putting on mascara. It just gives you that darkness on your eyelashes that just awakens it. I, I can't even explain it, but it is definitely a must have for me. No matter what it is, even if I'm just putting on a little bit of face cream moisturizer and I will just do the mascara. Um, the other great thing about mascara is if you have eyebrows that are kind of like mine where you where it's okay that you don't have to like draw them in or anything, um, using a little like if you have a mascara with you, you can actually touch up your eyebrows um, just as easy. Um, the brushes usually for mascara are a little larger, so it's not ideal for using as a brow mascara, but it certainly does the job if you need. Um, the Zen Mascara is really, I'm gonna say it's one of my favorites for a couple of reasons. Um, the first thing is, is it has a silicone wand, so it, eliminates all that product that you have on on the wand okay and the other thing is that there's really nothing fancy about it okay it is volumizing extension it, there's no uh, fancy gimmicks it is just your regular mascara but it applies very nicely it is um, I, I've never had problems with um, you know anything it's it's just a, a downright good mascara so if you're looking for a silicone wand not a lot of product on it you can build it up just your basic all-around mascara and it does the job so um, 
Zen mascara, it has to be, uh, like I said, mascara is my second must have. Um, it, there's versatility in it, getting your eyebrows, you can do your eye, eye, eyelashes, and um, you know, it just, it gives you something else for your face. So it's on my must have list. And finally, number three. Now, some of you guys are gonna be very shocked because you're gonna think that I'm gonna say one thing, but I'm gonna throw you for a loop. Okay, so number three, I decided that I was going to pick our three-in-one palette. Our three-in-one face palette is number three because there is such versatility in its use. Now, I don't care which one it is. Um, we, have, we have a peach, peach palette. And then we have the original three-in-one. So I use either or, it doesn't matter. So what I love about it is that it comes with, you have your bronzer, your blush, and your highlighter, okay? And with that, you can not only shape your face, give yourself dimension, okay? And the other thing is, is you can use it for eyeshadow. So if I were to take this with me, I take it to work with me, if I go into the restroom and I want to touch up, I can certainly do that. There's one palette can help me do my face and my eyes. Um, so there's such versatility in it. And I think having a really good three in one palette is, is something that will put together your look very, very easy and have the versatility for it. And that is why I picked number three is our three in one face palette. All right. You guys knew that I was going to come back and give you runners up and I certainly am going to do that. So, one of the things probably most people would say is their foundation or their CC cream or whatever it is that they use. Absolutely hands down. CC cream, color corrector. And I think for the winter months, I'm starting to, obviously our skin changes during the weather. So right now up in the Northeast, um, I'm in New Jersey from New York, so I'm up in that area. Um, the weather changes and it changes drastically. So incorporating a little more moisture, I'm going to be probably going into the BB cream. The BB cream is a little lighter on, it feels a little lighter more on my skin, but, um, I honestly never leave, not even leave the house, but I, I never go without it. So I'm either with the, the C, this BB cream or the CC cream, um, definitely is always on my face 100%. So I did not put it in my list because most people are going to say they have their they have their foundation. Everybody has a different skin type, and of course, I have other um, foundations. I have a serum. I have um, a matte serum, a matte. I have a tinted moisturizer for um, for um, people who sweat. Um, we have the tinted moisturizer. I have the color corrector, um, the VFX foundation. There's full coverage. There's medium coverage. There's light coverage. I have a lot of different different things so you pick whatever you like but my absolute favorite are these two right here right now I've been rocking the CC cream but we'll see how this works for me and my last runner-up is going to be setting spray the reason why I love be fit is because it is um, the line that's for people who sweat who are active um, and I have found that this stuff stays in place very, very well. It's just my favorite one, and I, I don't know why. Um, the reason why I use a spray rather than a powder is because I can get very, very dry skin, and you don't want to put powder on dry skin. It just becomes a cakey mess. So when you spritz um, the setting spray on it, it becomes more moisture looking. So it really depends on the finish that you want, the look that you want, and the finish you want. Um, but highly recommended that if you have dry skin, you don't want to go for the powders. You want to go for the liquids. So, um, this, but this setting spray is absolutely top notch for me. So that is my, my last runner up. Okay. Thank you so much for watching my three makeup must haves. And you know what? I kind of had a little bit of fun and I think I'm going to do another video. So stay tuned. I think I'm going to do three of my must have cosmetic beauty tools because there are some things that are absolute must-haves you guys should have them too so all right guys so thank you so much for watching if you um would like to like and share this video i would greatly appreciate it if you are new please hit that subscribe button so you're notified when i post new content and thank you so much have a wonderful wonderful evening